Here's a song about a man I think you all know He plays a Canadian country music show A man of the land from east to west He wears a red maple leaf pin to his vest Saying goodbye to a Canadian icon. Thousands packed a Peterborough arena last night to bid farewell to Stompin' Tom Connors. Fran fans, friends, and fellow musicians were all there. And it was a true celebration for the man who brought us Canadian classics like the hockey song, Bud the Spud, and Sudbury Saturday Night. Yelena Adzik is here to tell us about the best moments from last night's memorial. So many moments to choose from. What I love about this is I think Stompin' Tom would have approved of this memorial. In fact, he made sure of it by planning much of this. So what, what was it like? Yeah, and he definitely specified he wanted it to be a celebration. And it certainly was that, Nancy, but it's worth noting that it started out, I think, appropriately on a more serious note. We saw various video clips and a lot of pictures that we hadn't seen before images from a young Stomp and Tom Connors, as many people now know from Skinner's Pond, with very humble roots. He's had all kinds of jobs, grave digger, he worked on the docks, he was very, very much a man of the people, which is something that we were reminded so much about last night. Even though you had all kinds of hoity-toity dignitaries and <laughs> uh, just the whole range of people were there. Uh, but there you see him giving back his Junos because he was such a staunch believer in Canadiana and our music and he didn't like some, some ways that the music industry was going. So you got a sense of the man last night in that video montage. Then they moved on to uh, the, the very serious and, of course, sad affair of bringing in the casket. And um, something that was quite special, I think, was when his wife, there you see her, Lena, she laid his signature black cowboy hat on the Canadian flag, which was on the casket. And I thought it was really a special touch that not only was his guitar nearby, Nancy, but his wooden board that he always stomped on. They had that place. There you go. You see it right there. So a very special moment to begin with and then after that it was all about the fun and that's exactly what Stop and Tom would have wanted a lot of celebrations as you can imagine people singing along to the music there we see Adrian Clarkson the the former governor general and I, I think that what made it so memorable is that Stomp and Tom himself selected the musicians to play and a lot of them were people that he's played with throughout his various life so we've got everyone from uh, Sylvia Tyson mm. Dave Bedini as well as Dave Gunning and I think that uh, the best thing I could possibly do is just give you a taste of it so here's a little compilation that we put together for you farewell to Nova Scotia the sea bound coast let your mountains start and dreary be. There were 79 men working to build this brand new bridge. It spans the second narrows and connects up with the ridge. Little Wawa was a wild goose who from the Southland flew in a V shaped flock of wild geese with her lover, Kandergoo. What a great musical celebration, and I love just seeing Adrian Clarkson singing along, which speaks volumes about the universal appeal and the tremendous reach yeah. that Stomp and Tom had. So many, so many great moments, uh, <laughs> but what, what stays with you? Uh, well, you know, Nancy, when you mentioned Adrian Clarkson, it really was a special moment. The entire evening ended with Stomp and Tom Connor's son mm. leading the crowd in a rousing Sudbury Saturday night, right? So everybody sang that. And Adrian Clarkson, when she gave her comments, her little, her speech, she referred to that song and it just, it gave me goosebumps to listen to. Let's see if it does the same for you. He gave us, first and foremost, a real sense of ourselves. And he knew that whether we had grown up in Vancouver or Red Lake or Happy Valley Goose Bay, we knew what he meant when he said, the girls are going to bingo, the boys are getting stinko, and nobody talks of inko on a Sudbury Saturday night. Yeah, a pretty special moment, and it's worth noting his son, Stomp and Tom Connors Jr., uh, I just wanted to quickly read mm -hmm. one of the comments he shared with us last night. He talked about his father, and he said, he hitchhiked and begged for food in shelters and orphanages when he was younger. So for he to hear that anyone we consider very prestigious, i.e. Adrian Clarkson, in this country talk highly about him, well, that makes it, makes it obvious that he really did have some sort of connection with everyone across Canada. So I thought that was a beautiful, beautiful thing for his son to say. 
say. Absolutely. And, and how perfect that the memorial was so fitting, that it was sort of the perfect fit for a guy who, who was real, like he was the real McCoy. He was the real deal. And yes, Nancy, because it really, in the end, was a celebration through and through. Thousands of people there, lots from PEI, uh, very near and dear to his heart. So, and in a hockey arena. What could like, be more fitting? Perfect. Right? <laughs> perfect. Thanks, Yelena.